about this and this is another topic to kind of go piggyback off the back of the whole like blackballing doesn't really exist sort of thing this is a clip taken from the joe budden podcast right which again i think you know I've said my piece about Joe Biden podcast. I was an OG fan of the podcast and it legitimately broke my heart when they all broke up and essentially went their separate ways. I feel like if we're being honest, as much as I love New Orleans more and as much as I'm happy about their deal, I'm going to go see their live show in November here in London. I love everything they do and I prefer that podcast over the JBP. Let's be honest. Both podcasts have suffered greatly for the fallout. Maybe Joe's been able to bounce back better than we expected because he's a really unlikable, um, hard to root for person in the same way that Kanye is. Um, I think someone mentioned in the subreddit recently that um, they called um, Joe, uh, Joe Budden Joe West. They said that he could be Kanye's cousin because they're both the same. They're incredibly unlikable, but they've got stands that ride for them. So it basically, you know, negates how unlikable they are and whatnot. But anyway, in general, I feel like they both kind of, you know, suffered podcasts because of the fallout. I feel like they both should be stronger together, but that's never going to happen because, you know, Joe, when he falls out of people, it rarely ever comes back, especially his actual friends, which is what made that whole breakup in crazy to see because you felt like okay joe's only being a dickhead to people he doesn't really know even though he's awful you know it's not people that he knows and those actual friends they're industry friends but then when he did what he did to new rory or more to rory or more, sorry, rory or more to rory or more it was like oh i'm done with this guy so i've been down with there was a person for a long time i've kind of you know decided to hang up my hat listen to the podcast i listen to it all i check the sub here and there to see clips but i don't I haven't listened to a full episode of the show in sit not years well ever since they broke up so maybe it's been a year already but regardless this is a good example of why it's important to cultivate your fan base because in any other platform on in any other walk of life if joe budden said this he'd be done for right if he was on a radio station um if he was working in a corporate environment this is a sackable offense like like honestly sackable fan this is not me being a council guy this is just me saying this is the importance of having your own fan base and why podcasters and youtubers are winning so hard because once you have a fan base they essentially accept you for your ills because they listen to you for more than some people put out what 10 hours plus of free content every week it's very difficult to hide who you actually are underneath 10 you know hours of content it's very difficult you can do i'm sure but for the most part people would see the ugly sides of you they'll notice little bits here and there right you can't hide everything so usually those fans are the ones that accept you for who you are and then, of course, you know, kind of reward them by giving them all this free content that they can kind of enjoy. So I think a lot of JBP fans, myself included, we knew what he was really like the whole time. We just kind of went to suspend belief because we couldn't ever imagine him doing, you know, you know, kind of, you know, being running afoul with his friends. We couldn't imagine that being a thing. We only could imagine him doing that to people he didn't know. But then also, <laughs> the truth of the matter is... <laughs> The guy's a bit of a weirdo when it comes to girls, right? And this clip taken from his podcast where he basically says, the caption says here, Joe admits that he is faked putting on a condom during sex on a recent episode of his podcast. And this is obviously taken down. He, I think he edited it or he took it down. I think he must edit it out the podcast. I think this is during the whole podcast. And ever since then, you know, obviously nothing was said publicly about it until he made a post recently where he was replying to a fan and he basically said he's going to be in, in he kind of insinuated or said in roundabout terms he's considering putting his whole podcast behind a paywall so he can avoid all these issues so not even like apologizing for this weird comment i'm going to put it behind a paywall because you're you know you guys are like trying to make out like i'm a bad dude by doing this which obviously he is but let's play the clip of him saying sometimes he forgets to put sometimes he pretends to put a condom on for girl asking to put a condom on absolutely crazy <laughs> what i have no idea no one you do the and even I done walked in the corner and faked like I was putting a condom on before. <laughs> It'd be working. What? <laughs> no. what? No, no. Of course, Parks was the one that laughed the loudest, right? With his flipping Joe Budden cock in his mouth. Like, God damn, that guy is so annoying. No wiser. What do you mean, what? <sighs> yes, you, I did that. You, you faked the put One thousand percent. That was, that was my, that was my poor. You did that too? I'm asking. That was my poor no. execution of my of my plan after I mastered it, which was to just bust through the lambskin. <laughs> Let me go find. I don't know the, if I ever used a lambskin. Let me go skin. find the thinnest condom you, in the you, world. You, you mastered doing bust, that, huh? <laughs> bust through it. Yeah. You plan to bust it? Yeah, I'm not having it. Wait, come on. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh man, this guy. Yo. That's the importance of having actual fans. 
because if you have actual fans that rock with you they're willing to accept stuff like that so when you tr- when people do try to cancel you like the shade room does with joe budden i think every time he says something risque it doesn't actually make a difference it doesn't do anything absolutely zero that's the importance of having real fans that is definitely